Want to know which pro wrestling training center is the very best? Well then, I've got some questions for you. I'm Mike Quackenbush, this is Till We Make It. Right here on my channel, I make videos for fellow professional wrestlers at every single stage of their career. And I do this because when I was just starting out, for the first three years I was an active pro, I didn't have a coach nor did I have a mentor. And I want to help you to avoid all the little pitfalls and traps I fell right into for lack of access to veteran wisdom, knowledge, and experience. That's why Till We Make It exists. And if you want to support the mission of Till We Make It, go ahead, join the Till We Make It tribe. Subscribe down below. Leave a like a palooza. Drop a comment. The engagement algorithms love it. Or if you want to take your support of the Till We Make It project to the next level, follow the link in the descriptus to join us over on Patreon. You're going to get to see the videos that end up here on the channel before anybody else. I have exclusive early access just for my patrons. And they get an exclusive video each and every week that never appears here on the channel. And extra material I post, more than 200 of them since I launched, including a 15-minute match analysis I did of one of my favorite Owen Hart bouts. I just ended up posting it for my patrons a couple days ago. Come on over, get access to our Discord, and tons of exclusives for as little as five bucks. Let's talk about the best wrestling training center on Earth. And in order to do so, well, there's five departments we have to visit. Before we dive into all five of these things, I think it's worth mentioning right at the top, there is no objective answer to the question, what is the best wrestling school out there? Because everybody's different. Every wrestler, every trainee, every prospect has different needs. And what I need out of a wrestling school may not be what you need out of a wrestling school. But in order to determine what would be the best pro wrestling training center for you, well, here are those five things we gotta talk about. To help us along, I'm gonna divide up these five criteria into two categories. One of them is very concrete, the other is a little more nuanced. So let's start with the ones which are easiest to tackle. Up first, most important of all, schedule. Your schedule and the schedule of the training center where you're thinking of attending. So let's say that they have a mandatory beginners class every single Saturday. But on Saturdays, you're caring for your disabled grandmother. Well, if you have that real world obligation, and that's going to preclude you from ever making the mandatory beginners class, in my mind, this is a non-starter. This schedule does not work for you. So even if all the other criteria happens to line up very neatly, if you don't tackle the schedule up front, the rest is a little bit irrelevant. You have to have a schedule that will allow you to attend the classes you need to attend. So up first, as you're making your list, examine the schedule. And most pro wrestling training centers, they have their schedule right on their website. And if not, chances are you can obtain the schedule with one email, with one message, with one outreach. So you can line that up against what you have going on in your work life, in your personal life and make sure that that schedule is going to work for you. And up second, we got to talk about price. You've got to know what you are getting for what you are paying. You might spend just $50 a week on training and you get one class out of that. And there are other places where you're going to be expected to put up $5,000 the day that you start. Well, what are you getting for that that the $50 guy isn't getting? You have to understand what you get for what you are paying. And don't react immediately to sticker shock until you understand what you get for that sum. So I have an example I can call on readily because it's how we price things at my Wrestle Factory in Philadelphia where we have two very different curriculums. One of which you could start training for as little as 299 bucks, whereas if you wanted two years of full-time training multiple times a week, you'd be paying $4,000. Well, obviously, if you don't dig very deep, you would think, 
I think I want this cheaper option, right? I want the $299, but what does that get you? In my case, that buys you just seven classes. You get the seven weeks of Beginner 101 training, and that's it. But if you want to be training three, four times a week for months, if not years on end, that package isn't right for you. So when you're looking into the price of a wrestling school you are considering attending, dig deeper than just what is the price. You also need the answer to the question, what am I getting for what I'm paying? And the last of the criteria in this category, the more concrete of them that we have to cover, is location. Number three is location. We can't figure out what the best pro wrestling school for you is without discussing location. Where is this training center in relation to where you live? Now, in the early stages of my career, I would routinely drive three to four hours in one direction to be able to take in one training class because I was desperate to learn anything and everything I could about wrestling. And in this day and age, knowing how many podcasts I subscribe to, that kind of drive doesn't really phase me. But you might be hearing that and your eyes are bulging out of your skull. Maybe you realize anything more than one hour from my place, that's too much of a commute for me. I can't even consider a wrestling training center at that location. Maybe you don't have your own transportation. Maybe you have additional concerns that need to be addressed. Can I discover a public transit route that will deliver me roughly to this training center or at least leave me somewhere safe that I can walk the balance of the distance? Or can I afford a ride-sharing service like Uber or Lyft to transport me to where this wrestling training center is? And failing all of that, if you feel like this wrestling training center satisfies all the other criteria, the other four points, the only thing that's outlined is location, then maybe you need to have a conversation about moving, relocating so you are closer to the training center to reduce the commute to something which you think is more reasonable. You would certainly not be the first person I know who has moved to be closer to the training center they wanted to attend. It happens all the time. This next one is key, so pay close attention. Okay, so we've covered those three really concrete criteria, schedule, price, and location. Now let's move into that more nuanced category with number four. We need to consider the culture of the training center you're looking to attend because each school has its own culture and not all of them are gonna be a great fit for you. That may not be what's best. That's why it is so important that if they have a free workshop you can take, an open house you can attend, a class that is open to be observed by outsiders, or anything like that, even if it's just a tour while they are in operation so you can observe what's going on between the coaches and the trainees and get a sense of whether or not that's a good fit for you. Some people really thrive under a drill sergeant style coach who's yelling at them to keep them motivated and is constantly dogging them to do their very best. And yet I also know people who do not respond well to that whatsoever. So observe the culture within the wrestling school and make a decision about whether or not that's going to be a good fit for you. Because if you rush to a decision without examining that, you may end up spending a whole lot of money at a place that you hate to attend. And I don't want that for you. I don't know anybody that wants that. That's a, that's a terrible match. Let's not do that, okay? Let's agree right now not to do that. Don't spend your money somewhere that you hate to attend. And in order to determine the best wrestling school for you, well, we gotta talk about criteria number five. And it is less concrete than things like schedule, price, or location. It's network. Specifically, what kind of network is available to the graduates of this training center. And this is gonna require you to do some due diligence. Do all of their trainees just stay in the same city or county and wrestle there? Or do they find opportunities at bigger companies? Are they able to tour internationally? Can they make a living in the pro wrestling industry if that's their ultimate goal? If there are examples that have come out of that wrestling training center who've been able to do all of those things, then they have a larger network at play. And yeah, Sometimes just having that connection, being able to recommend somebody through that network is what opens doors. An easy example that springs to my mind just saying that out loud is this. 
you may know, the assistant head coach at the WWE's Performance Center is a graduate of my wrestle factory. She wrestled as Sarah Del Rey and now goes by her given name of Sarah Amato. If something came across her desk with a trainee citing the wrestle factory, as opposed to having trained at the baby accountant school of pro graps, which of these is likely to carry more weight? It's about network. What kind of network is available to the people that come out of the training center you're thinking of attending? Because especially in your first few years, while you're still in your apprentice phase, whatever the scope of that network is, will have a significant impact on the opportunities that are available to you as a working pro. I really do believe if you want to determine the best pro wrestling training center out there for you, you must weigh these five criteria equally. Schedule, price, location, culture, and network. And accept that the one that happens to be nearest to your apartment may not be the best wrestling training center for you. The one offering the cheapest training options may not be the best wrestling training center out there for you. You got to do your due diligence on these five points so you come in with realistic expectations and an educated understanding of the playing field. If you think you're too young to start preparing for your career in pro wrestling, you gotta watch the video appearing up here right now. Or if you're worried about acclimating to the ring and your pain threshold, well, watch the video appearing underneath it. And thanks to my patrons, who make all of this possible here at Till We Make It, like Andreas, and Jason, and Joe. Thanks, guys.